finally landed in Amsterdam. And uh, you're about to go to the rock star. My, my sixth accelerator is probably the last one. Because uh, it's been enough now. The event is uh, over, about to uh, leave this city tomorrow morning, but I want to touch base a little bit about Accelerator Program, which is what we're doing right now. And uh, the interesting thing is, this is my sixth and last Accelerator Program. Pretty much didn't have any choice because we got some funding from Green Challenge. And they require us to do an accelerator program uh, after we get the funding and the grant. But this time was about pitching. And I'm gonna give you some uh, technique and, and tools about pitching and how to get investors. So tool number one, the key thing, uh, about pitching and getting investors. Uh, of course, they tell you sell a story. You know, uh, they tell you about, you know, how you gotta package it. There's a breakdown, there's templates. There's nothing new about pitching. One thing I've learned though about pitching, especially with investors, number one, you know, so many investors are not, you know, familiar with the African market. It, it, it's the fact. So they ask you, uh, they're not a dumb question because they, ju they just don't know. But it's it's extremely difficult, extremely difficult for an African company to raise money, you know, because especially when it comes to technology, a lot of our, our investors, we don't even have that many, you know, don't necessarily uh, uh, invest in, in, in technology or innovation. They, they really focus on traditional business. But uh, you see there's much more, many more investors, foreign investors from Europe, the States, that never been to Africa, you know? And then you hear stories about companies that have raised five, 10, 20, 50 million still not profitable. And they are here sitting and they just don't understand your model. They don't understand you make money. Uh, we, we, we deal with distribution of digital service. You explain to them about the agency banking or agent business, they just don't know, you know? So it's extremely hard. So we were in this session um, and you'll see on the video, uh, you know, we're in this session with, with, with at least a, a dozen investors and, and we, we've been, I don't like the word lucky, but we've been lucky enough to, to come across those investors and we already have investors. So that, that brings a, a certain confidence when you talk to those guys, especially if, if it's investors that from where they're from, you know, um, whether it's Europe or the States. If you talk about local investor, they don't consider that as investor. So the key thing is, you know, we meet investors and we are here pitching. And the first thing, and, and you know, and that's what investors do. They play the devil advocate. And you know, they say, hey, hey, listen, 
Don't take it personal. Don't 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 take it in negative. But why why A B and C and D? Why A B and C? So always number one, number two, always do research on the investor you're pitching. You know why is it important? Is because on when you doing when you do your research, look at their profile, look at where they invested, what company, you know, and then you can see. If those companies are making money, it's not that hard to find out if the company they invested in is is profitable. And the funny enough is, out of dozens and dozens uh, of investors I talk to, most of them on their portfolio, most of their company are not making money. You know, and 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 the problem with investor, that's another thing you're gonna learn. Their ego is very big. So if you talk about their profile. Or their portfolio, sorry. If you talk about their portfolio and you tell them, listen, uh, yes, you, you talk about my company, but what about this company? You invested, it's been five years, they're not profitable. Yeah, but them is different, you know. And then when you look at their portfolio, you know, even if they talk about doing business in Africa, and that's a study that came, 90% of, of investment that are done in Africa goes to companies where the owner is from Europe or the state, they're foreigners. You know, it's a fact. So it, 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 it's it's one of those challenge, you know, you're gonna come across. Sorry, I'm sneezing, it's minus four degrees in this place, but I'm going back home tomorrow. You know, so that's, that's, um, that's another thing. And another thing about investment also um, that you're gonna learn is persistence investment is about persistence guys you know so don't waste too much time on on taking rejection personally please don't you gotta knock on doors you gotta know uh who you talking to you know you gotta have a, a, a an understanding that those guys they deal with hundreds so they like the fact that you keep asking and all and if they're not interested guess what you tell them, who do you know that may be interested in investing in this business? Because investment, you know, ecosystem is not that big. It's not like the entrepreneur. There's much more, more entrepreneurs than investors. So, hey, who do you know? And they always know somebody that might be interested in your business or in the area you're in. So don't take no personal. Keep knocking on doors and always ask for a referral, you know, because that's also a key. So finally, you have to get a, a an account manager, financial account manager. Why is that key? Well, it's going to be almost impossible for you to raise money by yourself. They don't know you. Most of the fundraising is about trust. And if you look carefully, do your homework. If you look carefully, most of the uh, funders um, fund. Um, companies they know that's why most people are in Silicon Valley you know uh, trying to get their uh, trying to get their network better but a lot of them invest in account financial manager they have a huge network and then they can raise the money so you're gonna have to do that but at the end of the day it's gonna be extremely hard guys it's not gonna be that easy um, so, you know, do your homework. Accelerator programs are good, but don't spend too much time doing too much because they end up being the same left and right. So, guys, I hope this video is going to help you. It's 5 a.m. here. Still freezing. Take, taking my butt home. Um, do your homework. Do some research. Till next time.